So it was warm out there. And Tyler, this is so odd this time of year. 22 degrees above average. That's mm -hmm. how we shattered all the records, not just Burlington, but we had one in Montpelier and uh, Lebanon and Saranac Lake all over the place. Not quite as warm though tomorrow. So still enjoyable, still 80s, but it'll be uh, more of a downturn as we head into the weekend. <clears throat> nice shot here from Thea in Goshen. That's in Addison County near uh, the Blueberry Inn out in back. Look at the stars here from the JP camera. Long exposure lens so you can see uh, everything that's going on there, including the top of the tram. Temperature right now is 66. A little bit of humidity as well, but most of us are in the 60s right now. 66 in Newport and a 61 in Messina. So we're clear for now on Storm Tracker, but there's a front coming. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's going through Chicago now. We're also watching that tropical system coming north. So it's kind of a like bumper cars over us, a jam in the weather pattern and the weather flow as we go forward. So some low clouds tomorrow. Look how dense the clouds may be. Almost zero visibility for spots in the valleys out east tomorrow morning. That burns off and then we've got a nice Thursday, but uh, the clouds fill in as we go through Friday and you'll see that there's some showers here. They sneak right in ahead of the front. So it's a little wet on Friday for a few spots. Not everyone though, you might miss out on these initial showers. Saturday though, a totally different story. The rain really fills in. And look at this. This is a new run of future cast. So two o'clock on Saturday, it's raining pretty hard along Route 7 up to the Canadian border. All the while, we've got a fire hose of moisture from Philippe, which is coming north. So with the tropical system going into Maine, this front kind of has trouble moving east and it just rains and rains for quite a while. We're thinking one to three inches of rain within our region. It may not be for everyone, but probably right up in the middle, maybe the Champlain Valley in the core of the rain. We'll fine tune that as we get closer. I think by Friday we'll have a real good idea of this, but there are a lot of indications here of one to three inches of rain right overhead, but it's been dry for long enough that we shouldn't have too many issues. There may be some localized flash flooding. We'll have to watch it as we get closer. But a summer night tonight, some dense fog. Watch out for that, especially in the morning. Should be the thickest at that point. Up to about 82 in Malone, Plattsburgh at 80, and a beautiful day in Burlington at 82. So a little bit cooler than we had today, but still very nice. Here's the five-day forecast with a real <clears throat> abrupt change. 66 is the high on Saturday, only 53 on Sunday. So that is really going to sting a little bit, unless you really like it that way. But you see uh, early next week, we're stuck in the 50s. The average high is 64. So even though we've been way above that, we're going to go way below that <clears throat> towards the second half of the weekend. The showers probably linger from Monday and Tuesday, but slowly drier, slowly a little bit brighter. Maybe we'll have a break or two of sun on Sunday, but it uh, looks like the wettest day in the whole 10-day forecast is Saturday at this point. Alice? All right, Tyler, thank you.